Hello friends, in this video I will be discussing M coloring problem. So this is a graph coloring problem in which the input will be a graph. Like as we know that we can represent graph in two ways by using adjacency list or by using adjacency matrix. So the form of input will be in adjacency matrix form and we need to identify whether it is possible to color the graph with at most using M colors. Okay, so the input will be an undirected graph and an integer M which represents number of colors and the task is to determine if the graph can be colored with at most M colors. And in graph coloring, the main thing is like we can color the graph with the given colors but the thing which we need to care about is like no two adjacent vertex, no two adjacent vertices must have the same color. Okay, consider this. This is an input form in which source and destination is given. Okay, so we need to convert this input form into adjacency matrix. So by creating a 2D matrix and by using this, we can have our adjacency matrix okay and there will be an integer m represents the number of color so suppose it is given three colors so three colors can be like red green and blue so consider that these three colors are nothing but red green and blue so in vertex one we have three choices either we can color it with red or with green or with blue so suppose i'll color it with red okay now for vertex 2, we can't color it with red. So this is a condition like two adjacent vertices must not have same color. So for vertex 2, we have two choices possible. Either we can use green or we can use blue. So suppose I have colored this vertex 2 using blue. Okay. Now for vertex 3, only one choice is possible. That is green. So yes, we can color this graph using three colors so the output will be true that yes it is possible to color the graph using at most three colors so if we use naive approach like if we use recursion then for every vertex there are having choices available to us like out of three colors we need to make choice then on the basis of our choice we need to decide that whether it is producing the desired output or not. So let's discuss the naive approach first. You making a recursive tree. So suppose we have started coloring the vertex one with red color. So this X one represents vertex one with red color. Okay. So this is the root node from where we have started and this is vertex one and we have colored this vertex one using red color. Now for now after this remaining two vertices are there two and three so we can color it with either using red or green or blue right now we are not checking the condition just like producing the recursion tree to see like how many nodes are being there if we use simple recursion now again we can color vertex 2 with red, green and blue. Now from this again there are three choices available. So we can color this vertex 3 with red, green and blue. So like this we will be producing a tree and right now it is without maintaining the condition. So in each level if we observe that suppose in this level there are three nodes in this level there are nine nodes and in this level there are 27 nodes so if we see the time complexity it will be your m to the power v m represents number of colors and v represents number of vertices so there are three colors available three and number of vertices are 3 so 3 to the power 3 that is the time complexity of this m coloring problem if we are not using condition 
like for from each vertex there are three possible choice red green and blue again from each vertex there are three possible choice red green and blue so we'll be getting the combinations of red green and blue vertices so after having those combinations we will check which one is valid valid how we can check for validity if two adjacent vertices are not having same color then yes it is a valid combination so after producing 27 combinations then again iterating it and checking for its validity that whether we can color it with at most three colors or not so we can use this and this is the naive approach but if we gonna use backtracking then the main advantage in backtracking is that we cut down the recursion like suppose this is red and again we are using red it means we are we are not able to use red as because these two are adjacent in nature like see this vertex 1 and vertex 2 are adjacent vertex so this red and red is not possible so i'll not traverse this part it means i have cut down the recursion for this part similarly it can be done in most of the nodes available in this recursion tree so let's discuss the backtracking approach okay so see suppose this is our root node and right now for x1 which is nothing but vertex 1 i have used red color okay now for vertex 2 the possible choices available are red green and blue like in previous recursion we have seen that for each vertex there are three choices but right now if suppose for x2 if i'll use red color then because of the condition that two adjacent vertex must not have same color it will return from this okay it will return from this to the color and the color is this one so the next available choice is green so yes we can have green as because these two are different colors okay so this is vertex 1 this is vertex 2 so vertex 1 i have applied red color vertex 2 green color now from this again there are three choices available like for each vertex at max m choices are there so again i'll be using for x3 i'll be using red now if we see that x3 and x1 like vertex 1 and vertex 3 in our graph is adjacent in nature so we'll be maintaining this piece of code as a bounding condition in our program so we can't use red color because this vertex 3 and vertex 1 are adjacent in nature it means will not traverse now comes the second available choice that is green so as we know that this vertex 2 and vertex 3 are again adjacent in nature so we'll not be using this green color for for x3 now next is blue so we can have blue as because these are different colors so yes vertex 1 we have chosen red color for vertex 2 green and for vertex 3 blue it means that yes it is possible to color the graph with at most using three colors now the task is only to find this but there are more complex versions of this problem like find the count like find the number of graphs that can be possible using m colors so if the question was this then again we need to traverse for a different color like right now we have started with red color next i'll be starting with green color and repeat the same process which i have repeated like from green color again the next vertex 2 will be having three choices green blue and red green is not possible as because vertex 1 and vertex 2 are adjacent in nature if we see the graph so for each color like there is one possibility if i'll start with red then there is this possibility so i need to make i need to traverse all the possibilities all the choices then for green also there is a there is a possibility and for blue also so 
the task of this problem is just to find whether it is possible to color the graph with at most m color okay so the moment i will be getting that yes it is possible i will return true and move out of the logic and will print that yes it is possible so if we see the logic behind this so what i have created is the solve function and inside this it's containing all the details it's containing the graph color array so this color array is basically the size of this color array is number of vertices in our graph so right now there are three vertices so its size will be 3 it will start from 0 1 and 2 so this 0 1 and 2 is representing vertices okay as in this main question it starts from indexing 1 but what we can do while taking input we can have 1 minus 1 0 2 minus 1 1 and 3 minus 1 2 like if suppose the input vertex is 1 in graph we will have this input vertex minus 1 as our vertex so we'll make it zero based indexing okay so it's your choice either you can have solve this problem using one based or zero based so i have created this color array where 0 1 and 2 is representing the vertex and this cell or this position we will fill it with color like we'll find whether it is possible or not so the starting vertex is zero i'll start from this vertex total number of vertex is three and total number of colors available is three so the base case is that if starting vertex equals to the ending vertex if we reach at last of this uh, size then we can return to that yes it is possible now the choices available to us is 1 to m means 1 2 and 3 so we can make one as red two as green or three as blue it's our it's depend on our understanding or we can simply use the numeric value like one two and three because the task is not to have color it's just to find whether it is possible or not so before putting this one in this vertex so this color array will contain the color corresponding to this vertex so suppose vertex is 0 initial vertex is 0 now the first color this loop has given me is 1 okay so before filling this color inside 0 number vertex we'll check whether it is safe or not so we'll call for is safe function and if it returns true then yes we can place 1 in our color array and recur for the next vertex that is sv plus 1 starting vertex was 0 next vertex turns to 1 so again choices for each cell is 1 2 and 3 1 2 and 3 for each cell so this loop will again have choices available for this vertex 1 is 1 2 and 3 now it will call is save function for one so the is save function will return false as because this zero and one it's the adjacent vertex and adjacent vertex must not have same color now it will recur now it will have different choice that is two so it will call is save function for color two now it will return true because it satisfies the constraints so we can fill this is safe with 2. Now again it will recur for the next vertex. For this it will recur for vertex 2. Again this vertex will have choices 1, 2 and 3. 1 is not possible as because we have adjacent vertex 1 and 2 are adjacent vertex. And if sorry 0 and 2 are adjacent vertex and we have already used color 1 in 0 vertex. Now we can't have the same color in vertex 2 as because they are adjacent in nature. Now we'll call for 2. Now again vertex 1 and vertex 2 are adjacent in nature. If we see in the graph that vertex 1 and vertex 2 are adjacent in nature, we can't have same color in this. So it's not possible to fill vertex 2 with color 2. Now we'll call for vertex 3. 
will call is say function for vertex 3 and yes we can fill it with vertex 3 so ultimately we have completed our color array so the starting vertex equal equals to vertex now again it will call so 2 plus 1 it changes to 3 now this 3 is equals to the ending like the total vertex of our graph and it will return true to the main function and yes we can print that solution is possible so this is the logic behind m coloring problem